and right at the back here is a polyhive with a Morris board which I've just inserted the slide into section B and so this side of the, of the top box here is becoming crowded with incoming foragers and they currently have no access to the bees below because of the slide here and so I've also put some emerging brood in here from another hive so this box, the side of the box here is getting quite crowded there's a feeder on top with bees um, taking food down there's one bee gone for a swim there fetch her out and so this box, this side of the top box should be in exactly the right condition for rearing queens and so I'm going to take now some cells which have been brewing in number nine over there um, which is an Irish daughter and so the cells from this queen uh, from the Nico box I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed but I can open the top and um, that's the queen excluder off the Nico box because I opened it a couple of days ago and so in here on this frame are going to be larva, newly hatched larva in exactly the right condition for the bees over there with the Morris board to make queens from so I'm just going to go and do that transfer right now This is the Morris board on the day after my previous um, shot and as you can see the bees are using this entrance to the right hand side box and I'm just going to withdraw the slide very gently. drawn the slide which means that the bees now have access to the pheromones from the queen in the box below and that should in theory switch them from emergency mode to supersedure mode. Um, at this point I can also open the main entrance which is this one here so I'm just going to actually I'm just going to open it a fraction um, I'm not going to fully open it because I want bees still to be going into the top box as well for the time being because uh, they still need a good foraging force up there to keep the place supplied with food. And you can see round the back of the Morris board I've opened um, entrance D just to allow drones to escape mainly and because uh, this is the, obviously the only direct entrance to the uh, to the bottom box with the top slide closed. So the next job is to take the top off this hive, take the cover off and just check to see if they've started cells. There's a couple of feeders on here because uh, it's always a good idea to feed um, bees when they're raising queens like this. So I'm just now going to gently remove the top cover. Okay, so the box is not as crowded as I would like. And of course there's, there's no guarantee that this uh, exercise has been successful at all yet. Um, so we now have to just gently lift out. I'm just gonna remove one frame and uh, so I can get access easily. Oh, this next frame is the one with the cells on and I can see looking in that some cells have been started which is always good. I don't know what my success rate is, is like on this yet. Let's take this one out and have a look. So, okay, not very good at all. We've got some cells that look like they're being started on that top row there. Uh, bottom row is pretty much useless. Okay, well, I 
Okay, not a great start, but this was a marginal case because the um, this is not a, a hugely strong hive. It's reasonably strong, but um, I would like to have had more bees in here before attempting this. And this is the first time they've gone through this particular cycle, so I didn't hold out a huge amount of hope for it. But anyway, they've started some cells, which is which is good news. And so I'll just let them get on with those. And um, at least now they should switch to super seizure mode and make the best of those um, few cells that they have started. But they're nice gentle bees anyway, which is, uh, which is always a good thing. When you're queen rearing, you don't want to be battling um, huge colonies of uh, killer bees while you're trying to raise queens. So anyway, there we go. That's the first attempt on this box. It's worth saying, I think, that um, the big advantage of the Morris board system is that as soon as these cells in this box are capped, I can switch by simply opening the, these other, the other valve and closing that one. I can switch to this chamber and do exactly the same thing again, which means I can have a continuous process of raising queens in both boxes. And of course, by the time I get to this point, which will be in a, about another uh, four, uh, four days or so, um, there'll be some, there'll be more bees flying from the emerging brood, uh, in which case that will make the chances of um, success just that little bit greater.